it's important to realize, and this is something that was really made brought home to me by one of my, uh, one of the people on my PhD committee who I'd been going, uh, sitting through several weeks of his class and he'd been going over all this mathematics and, you know, how to solve it, how to set it up. And after a few weeks of doing this, he said, okay, that's enough for the math. Now let's get to the physics. And it really drove home to me something that I think I kind of realized already, but I should have uh, had more explicit, which is, yeah, you can do the math, but math is just the math. The physics in this case meant understanding what all the math meant and being able to apply it, understand what it was all about. And I think for investing, that's super crucial too. We've got a lot of data. We've got a lot of ways to tweak that data, so to speak. We've got, you know, with computers, the ability to manipulate that data, all sorts of different ways and to get all sorts of answers that at least look great, you know, looking backwards. But when we want to look forwards, that's when things won't necessarily work as well. And there's a lot of uncertainty on what we do. So having a good conceptual understanding of not just the math, but what the math means when applied to investing is something that's really, really crucial.